Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys the one year update on my double nostril piercing. I have not done an update on one of these in forever. I think the last video I did involving my nose piercings was putting in retainers for work, um, which I will talk a little bit about in this video um, for those of you who are curious about that. Or if you just wanna see the whole video, I will have everything linked somewhere in this video, either up in the corner or down below or something like that. So yeah, it has been exactly Exactly one year since I have gotten my double nostril piercing. I'm not 100% sure on the exact day. I want to say maybe the beginning of June or something like that. But yeah, I cannot believe it has been a full year. And holy crap, has it been a crazy year with this guy. And I will get into more about that um, in a second. Um, for those of you who are wondering, I do have two nostril piercings. This one in front I have had for a few years now, and then the one in back is the one I'm going to be talking about today. For those of you who are wondering what is on my lips, it is I'm Nude by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm going to try to get better at putting on what's in my lips down in the description box because I know every time I wear one of his lipsticks, I get tons of comments asking. So if you're ever unsure, check the description box. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So about a year ago, I made the decision to get a double nostril piercing. Originally, I was gonna get it pierced on the other side as well, but then um, at the time I had my Monroe pierced, so at the time I thought that would look too much like with them two like really close together. So I decided against that and I decided to get it pierced directly next to my other one, which I mean, I would totally be down to get another one over here just because I don't have my Monroe anymore. So we'll see what happens, I don't really know yet. I Basically, I went to my piercer who did it for $10. I used to go to a shop that would pierce me for 10 bucks. Yeah, no secret here on my channel, that's where I used to go. Still really like that shop and would definitely still go there again, but it is kind of out of the way now since I have moved. So yeah, it was $10 to get done and the pain, you know, obviously there was some pain associated with it because it is a nostril piercing and it is a piercing in general. So there's a lot of cartilage and yes, there was a lot of pressure and yes, my eyes did water, but it wasn't anything like crazy bad. I do have a video of me getting it pierced if you would like to see that again linked somewhere in this video so yeah pain wasn't too bad and I was just pierced with a little um, L shape just standard nose stud a little bit on the longer side so it had room to move outward so in case there was any swelling then I wouldn't have to worry about it because there was enough room to this for the swelling to like go you know what I mean so yeah um, initial healing it was you know about the same as every other nostril piercing you know there was a little bit of tenderness um, lots of redness lots of crusting you know that white liquid that comes out with every piercing that's healing all that good stuff basically what I would do the most is I would just clean it with antibacterial soap and try my very hardest to keep makeup off of it. Now, the reason why I say it has been a crazy year is because this piercing has taken forever to heal. And I kid you not, it's still not 100% healed. I can tell you that right fucking now. Still is not 100% healed and I will tell you why. So let's get into it. So around the time when I got my second nostril pierced, um, I got a job at a place that does not allow piercings. They are looked down upon, they are considered a distraction, they are considered inappropriate and we are not allowed to have them. I do not agree with that, but I gotta pay my bills so you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. So ever since then, I have been taking it in and out, in and out, in and out, changing jewelry in and out, way before it was time. Now I'm a huge, huge preacher on don't ever change your jewelry out early. It's just not good for the piercing. I'm huge on that. I can't stand when people do that. But you know, when you have a job that basically you need, um, you don't really have a choice. So I had to make the difficult choice of putting in a retainer in it and then putting my jewelry in it when I was not at work. So it was very, very painful. Every time I had to get ready for work, there was just tears coming down my face because I was taking out a piercing that wasn't even close to healed yet and I was putting in a retainer. Not good at all. I don't ever recommend you doing that, but that's kind of what I had to do in order to keep my job. Um, I'm so, so hoping that one day society changes and we are allowed to have a goddamn nose piercing. I really don't understand why. Um, and I really don't understand retainers because in my eyes, in my experience, retainers fall out a hell of a lot easier than jewelry that is folded into the piercing. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just my own personal opinion, but I'm really hoping society changes because this last year has been very, very painful when it comes to getting ready for work because 
man, it has just not been fun. So getting this second nostril piercing to heal has been a bitch. If I didn't need to take it out, it would have been healed months ago. But you know, since I've kept having to change it in and out all the time, um, it has taken a long time. And even now it is still isn't 100% healed and I'm still working with it. It is getting close. It's very, very close, but um, you know, it, it does still act up every now and again, and I know it's because it wasn't properly taken care of. And that really pisses me off because I'm someone who takes really good care of their piercings, and when I'm forced to, you know, do something or to my piercings that I don't do, it really gets to me. It really does. Um, this first one, really no big deal because I've had, I have had it for so long that taking it out and putting in a retainer is not a big deal. But this one is just like, holy fucking shit. Ow, 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 ow. So yeah, it's just, it's been a crazy ride. So if you are someone who works in a place where piercings are not looked good upon, which I mean, good for you if you have a job like that. I'm super jealous. Um, but if you're someone who has a boss that doesn't particularly like tattoos or piercings, don't get a piercing for a while until either, you know, things change or, you know, policies change. Just don't do it because it's just going to be a very, very ugly one year. Um, you know, just, just don't do it. So as far as like healing and all that good stuff, um, basically throughout the healing process, I didn't struggle with hypertrophic scarring that much. If you guys have watched my um, nose piercing videos for my very first one, then you would know that with my first one, I struggled with keloids, hypertrophic scarring for eight months. I'm not even kidding you, eight months I kept getting them. And little did I know it was because I kept putting a hoop in when it wasn't ready. Um, that's basically why. So I learned my lesson with that one. So when it comes to like hypertrophic scarring in my second nostril piercing, I haven't really had that big of a problem with it. I had maybe one to two the whole healing process just from like, you know, taking it in and out all the time when I wasn't supposed to be. Um, that's basically the only time I ever got one. But other than that, it hasn't been that bad. The one thing I've been struggling with the most is tenderness and redness. Um, not really so much crusting, nothing like that. Just a lot of tenderness and a lot of redness has been my biggest challenge with this healing process particularly. Um, it is further back onto my nose, so the cartilage is a tad bit thicker than up here, if you can kind of see that. I will zoom you in on a second. And as of recently, maybe about three weeks ago, I have finally been able to pull off the double nostril ring. I, You guys have known that I've been looking forward to doing this for so long now, and I'm finally able to do it, so I wanted to film this video like while I had it in because I felt super cool. But yeah, I do put the hoop in pretty often whenever I have a day off or so. I do like to wear the double hoop because other than that, I'm just wearing little studs and little retainers, and that's just not a cute look. So I really just like to wear the ring. Um, changing it really isn't that hard. When I first tried to put this hoop in in my second one, it was like damn near impossible. It was so hard uh, just because I wasn't used to like where the hole was, you know, like I am with this one. But yeah, I've pretty much gotten the hang of it now. It does sometimes still hurt to change it. Um, most of the time, not really. Uh, but usually when I do change it, there is a little bit of redness, you know, going on because that's just what I've been struggling with. Um, but other than that, things have been going really well I'm using my Provon soap in the shower as well too. Um, just to kind of keep everything nice and clean, you know, all that good stuff. As far as retainers go, like what I wear in my nose when I am at work, I will go ahead and show you. Now I did do a detailed video on these already, but basically here is the retainer that I will wear in my first nostril. Now the reason I say my first nostril is because I lost my other one, because retainers fall out a hell of a lot easier than regular jewelry, so I don't know why we just can't wear regular jewelry. <laughs> but yeah, here's what it looks like. It's just a 20 gauge um, straight barbell, and then the top on it is just a little flat top like this. You can put them in either way. I like to just put this so this is on the outside of my nose. So basically it keeps the piercing open without there being a sign of jewelry there. And then the jewelry that I have been wearing in my second nostril piercing since I don't have any more retainers is this guy right here. This is just a little L-shaped um, nose ring and as you can see there is no stud in it. Um, I got one like this on purpose because it does not reflect light so it doesn't look like you know there's a big shiny piece of jewelry in so when I do put this in it kind of looks like I just have like a freckle on my nose rather than like a diamond you know what I mean so this is what I will wear in my second nostril piercing 
And then here is my nose today, one year later with my double nostril. Like I said, this is the new one right here. And then, whoops, my rings are all tangled. There we go. This is the new one right here. And then this is the one that I've had for a while. So as you can see with the new one, there is a ton of redness going on. It has always just been very red. It's not really that sore, it's just very red. This right here is a 16 gauge, um, I think this is 5 16 um, nose ring and this was bought off body candy and then this one is a 22 gauge 5 16 um, nose ring that I wear in my second one but I really like the look of the double nostril it does look pretty cool uh, am I going to keep it I'm going to try to keep it for as long as possible I'm gonna try to get it to heal as best as I can but you know that's just the thing with society and piercings I will never understand why I would I just will never understand why it is so frowned upon like I don't know I, I just don't know it's a hell of a lot less hassle than just to let let us wear like a little diamond stud rather than having infected ass noses at work with retainers in them I don't really know I don't see the logic in that but yeah that's just kind of what I'm working with that's just kind of the little update that I have for you guys okay guys so that's everything that I have for this video if you guys enjoyed it please give a huge thumbs up if you are someone who is also struggling with a piercing because of work go ahead and tell me your story down in the comments I would love to read it but until then I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you all.